What is going on, Gulf Coast Nation? Guys, welcome back to another episode. This week, Adam and I, off the water, off the beach, in the house, going over something very special for you guys. As you can see, two new carts. Adam, you think they're, do you think you're gonna enjoy it? I would enjoy it. I would as well. Let's do it. Gulf Coast Nation is sponsored by Sandbar Tackle, keeping you hooked. Steadfast Rods, the name says it all. Andy Andrews, New York Times best-selling author. Terra Firma Tackle, Austin Legacy Knives, every knife has a story, tell yours. Blink Slate Customs, Circle M Trailers, if you can dream it, they can build it. Fish Gum, excite the strike. We've all seen the old cart. That's right. Still works beautifully. So nice. So nice. Hauls all of our stuff, but we just got a new one. That's right. So Brand now, new. We can run two trips in one night. That's right. Very special. As you guys know, we hired two guys on. So two guys means double the gear, double the trailers, double the carts, double the chairs, double the bait, double the leaders, the hooks. Coolers. Coolers, everything. Freezers, so, everything. Part of that process is getting a brand new cart. We just picked this cart up from Mr. Terry a little while ago. So today, Adam and I are gonna walk you through both of these carts, what we like, what hasn't worked, what we've changed, and then basically the main difference between three days old and three years old. Yes. A, a little rundown on these carts. They are custom made by Mr. Terry. We have done a video walking through this cart while it was a little bit, you know, it was a little bit more in its youth. Yes. But uh, they do, they're all the same size. So the cart, you know, the cart bucket per se, for lack of a better word, is the same size. So it holds the inside, it holds our big cooler, holds a tackle bag. We need to get a new tackle bag. Right? Yes, we do. <laughs> and then a, a, a table. So we bring a folding table out to the beach. Um, but there's a little bit of slight differences. I'm gonna let Adam walk you guys through the light differences and then uh, our tire differences. And there's a little bit of a height difference on the cart. And we did that for a few specific reasons. So lights on this one, That's as right. you can see, there's the board facing floodlights and then That's the right. one that faces down and it's got two switches but right. on this one it only has one switch one. so it's more waterproof less to go wrong turns both the lights on right. which most of the time whenever we use one then we use them both right. anyway and turns them both on and lights up the whole beach yeah. i get a battery box for this one so we have been doing the uh the waterproof battery box from like Academy or something like that's like a deer feeder yeah. battery. So we need to get one of those for that cart to make it fully functional. But it's the same idea on the lights. Three forward facing, one down. and uh, All powered by a Dakota lithium. That's battery. right. The Dakota lithium 12 volt batteries, tiny, light, and they charge for like, I mean, that's like what, 12, 14 hours we get out at of those least. things? I mean, they're awesome. So uh, been out there we need to get a all weekend more of those. <laughs> and not had to switch it once. Right, right. We, 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 we skipped on talking about lithium batteries really quick for that kind of stuff we skipped we skipped a corner we cut the corner yeah last 2019 and bought cheap ones that were like 88 dollars instead of 109 dollars like the dakota lithiums are and it bit us right in the butt we went two weeks where those ones wouldn't hold the charge anymore the the off-brand ones and we were waiting for our dakota lithium batteries to come in and we were doing videos without lights very frustrating we caught some big monster fish. monster tiger sharks but the videos we're Sucked. good. Yeah, because the GoPros don't do good in low light, so kind of frustrating there. We also run light bars on the beach, so we need Dakota lithium batteries for those. So don't don't cut the corner. Just go get Dakota lithium batteries yes. and be done with it. So. Something the same is the, uh, the, the boxes on the back. So there's a smaller box, as I'm showing you right now, where obviously the battery goes in and maybe a little bit of miscellaneous stuff, but you yeah. don't want too much stuff in there, pinching wires and stuff like that. And then the one directly beside it is for all of our sand spikes are shovel the umbrellas um, flags flags that's right all the stuff that kind of we carry and it's nice because it all fits in one little spot back there it's back out of the way you don't have anything laying across and it's obviously not gonna you know if you lay them across your cart they might fall off it's not gonna fall off back there fall so that's a genius real. genius little invention and also something about the lights is the uh the, the little bit of a difference in how they attach here i haven't showed adam yet because i haven't got to look through it too much but i'm showing you guys how those lights go down in on the old cart it goes all the way through and then you've got to feed the wires down through the bottom this new cart and new design that mr terry did does not you don't have to do that you just stick the pole on and the wires come out the side that way you're not having to thread the wires through which is a really 
really that makes it so yeah. much easier. So Terry's done a couple things with this new cart that it's just it's little things that make it a little bit more practical. This cart is practical as all get out. Yeah. This would be a second generation Terry genius cart. So the light's a little bit different. The single switch is nice, uh, waterproof there, but the table. Basically, once it's on there, it's on there. Yep. We never take it off. This one, if we need to get it in the back of a truck, it is so much easier to That's fold right. down. You just pull two pins out, stick them back in after it's down, and then whenever you're ready for it to come back up, lift it up, stick the pins back in. Right, in seconds. The thing yes. goes down and up in seconds. The other one, you have to take screws off, and it doesn't take forever, probably two minutes, but yeah. that is just he's another one of those things. He's like, hey, I didn't like the old way that we did the car tray. Let's do it this way. And I was like, Psh. Terry's one of those guys. I'm just like, hey, man, if you have an idea, you go for it. Because <laughs> I am not going to think the same thing. And then the rod holders are the same. We have 10 rod holders on both carts. Okay, so they got uh, five on each side. Sam on the old cart is the new cart, and they are detachable. So if anything were to happen to the rod holder, for some reason, we got really crazy and wanted to add 12 total to the cart. Um, we could pull them off, and Terry could, you know, just make a whole new piece. So it's not a part of the cart. It just unscrews, and it pulls back off. Um, which is kind of nice there and then one of the last differences between these two carts is the height over the wheels so this old cart here basically is maxed out if you get bigger tires they're going to rub on the bottom we can't really get any bigger than this um, and if we need new tires we just have to replace them with the same size but this new cart Terry had the idea to jack it up a couple more inches and we can be able to fit i think up to 16 and a half or 19 inch tires on there if we need so uh, these are obviously small tires for the moment. Um, they kind of fit the bill while we were doubling all the gear, um, but probably mid-summer, you know, unless we make the kids pull the car. We can just make the new guys pull the car. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. But if for some reason they get tired or they're doing a lot of whining, we'll buy bigger tires and they're going to fit there, no problem. If they get tired, if they whine, then we're going to buy smaller tires. Yeah, that's true. Like get, yeah. like get those like small, like uh, little orange ones. Yeah, the ones that like dig in the sand, ones. yeah. Another main difference on the old cart and the new cart is the box. Yep. That box, what you have to do is get way down low and push on it if I'm pushing and he's pulling or vice versa so it doesn't bend the box. Right. The welds on this one and he put support beams across it yep. so you can just grab it on top and it's much easier. Get and, more leverage on yep. it. Yep. Sometimes we're carrying a lot of gear up really steep hills we're walking really long ways and yeah. a little push on the back helps and those uh the new box is more sturdy which sure. is always which is always a pleasure so yes. that's gonna be it walking through these two carts but i wanted to let you guys know that it's obviously the end of march about to be april pretty soon adam will be graduating i'm so ready in may okay may 12th is his last day of high school and then we hit the ground running so you guys be enjoying the next couple, few, five, four, five weeks because the bonus episodes on Fridays, I'm going to try to do my best to keep it coming. We're going to try to keep that extra content coming for you guys, but they are bonus episodes. So in the middle of the summertime, when we start hitting it hard on May, June, July, there might not be Friday episodes. There might be Friday episodes, and when we can, we're going to, obviously, yes. but there might not be an opportunity for it. And pretty soon, these Tuesday episodes are not going to be helpful tips and tricks like this or they're not going to be offshore and then inshore and then shark fishing they're just going to be just like last summer if you guys go back check out our channel you're going to see from about may 5th to like july 31st august 5th it's just like nothing but shark videos every single week now don't get me wrong big bull sharks lots of black tips ginormous tiger sharks hammerheads trying to attack adam don't ever want to catch one <laughs> I just want to be forewarned for fans of the channel, people who are new to, this, new to this channel and didn't follow us last summer. We do run shark fishing trips. It's about yes. to get really, really busy. And uh, this summer, it's doubled down. So uh, Twice as busy. That's right. What if we, it would be cool though, because we're going to be taking GoPros on each yes. trip, right? So Adam's going to take, you know, Dom with him or Blaine with him. And I'm going to take Dom with me or, or Blaine with me. And we're going to have, you know, more GoPros to run too. And uh, maybe that's what it'll be like, you know, Tuesdays, like, Adam's group and then Friday's like my group and that'd be kind of Alrighty guys, I think it's time to wrap this week's episode up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support we've had this winter. Actually, February and March has been the best months we've ever seen view-wise. 36,000 views, 350 subscribers plus. So that's been awesome because normally the winter time, especially for a fishing YouTube channel like ourselves, 
slows down. It's this slow, and then it's starting to pick up now. But that has not been the case. You so guys have been imagine sending what it. it'll be like in the summer. Well, we gotta, we just gotta keep entertaining these folks right here, adding, adding value. I'll do it. You'll do it. Okay, Adam's gonna do it for you guys. So that's gonna be it for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Share with your friends. And as always, I will see you next week. You! Wow!